Hey there, swimmers. How are you? Um, Susie here, and if you have somebody that's with you that hasn't met me before, I'm the head swim coach for the Casco Bay Stripers at the Casco Bay branch of the YMCA of Southern Maine. Uh, I've been putting together uh, some stuff with my uh, Swimming Anatomy book by Ian McLeod. He's really one of my uh, favorite authors as far as exercises go, and I get a lot of my moves from this book. Uh, but I'm going to put together a TheraBand series for you today. And instead of me explaining as I go, because that's, that's a lot of work and I'm not really good at that part, to be honest with you. I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I want you to do. Um, I'm in my basement right now. Uh, it's really the quietest place that we have and it's the cleanest at the moment too. Um, and if you hear anything, it's just our turkeys. We've got eight turkey poults over here hanging out next to me. And um, <laughs> they're very excited that we're downstairs. Anyway, a um, couple of things to remember when you're doing exercises of any kind. It doesn't matter if you're a lap swimmer, a competitive swimmer, um, or an open water swimmer. If you're feeling pain at any point through an exercise, stop. Um, pain is not a good thing. There's a difference between fatigue and pain that leads to an injury. So just keep that in mind. Um, I know some people have shoulder injuries, some people have knee injuries. Do what you can. And if you can't do it, scratch it off the list and keep moving forward. Um, I have a few standing uh, a few standing exercises. I've got a few that we can do at about waist or chest height and then a couple up at a taller height. Um, and the way I run my practice groups uh, for my older swimmers is we do about two sets of 15 per exercise. I'm just going to demonstrate them for you today and yeah, you can always let me know what you think. Alright, I'm just going to get to it. So for our standing exercises, I've got a medium weight care band right here. You can use any weight that you have. I'm just going to stand on it first. The simplest thing to do right now is to have it evenly in both hands and your feet about shoulder width apart. And I'm going to do bicep curls. I'm going to keep my elbows tight to my ribs and just curl up. And then let them slowly back down. Again, I like to do two sets of 15 of everything. It's just my numbers. The next one we're going to do is called an HVT. So you bring your arms up kind of parallel like an H and bring them back down nice and slow. Then you bring them out a little further like a V and back down nice and slow. And then you go out like a T and back down nice and slow. So H, V, T. H, V, T. We can also do a standing tricep press. I'm going to shuffle to the side a little bit. And you're going to bend your knees and you're going to lean forward a little bit. Put your bum out behind you. Elbows in and then just kick those arms back. I can show you another variation of this if you don't like standing on the cord. All right, that's what I have for the standing ones. They're pretty simple. So another thing my basement has going for me is I have these great supports. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do a quick loop around. So loop it. And then I'm going to pull through so that I've got separate but equal cords. I just do this so that it's a little more stable, it doesn't slide around on you. Uh, remember when we're doing stuff at about chest height, always keep your eyes down in case your cord snaps. That way it gets you here instead of here. So the first one, I'll show you the other version of that tricep press. You're going to come back here and you're just going to kick back. It's the same motion, but your cord's at a slightly different angle. Alright, the 
next one we're going to do is a row. So again, you're going to either stand or gather these at a tension that you like, that you feel good with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my elbows back, turn my knuckle or my palms up toward the sky, squeeze my shoulder blades, release. This is really good for your back and your shoulders. All right. Next one I'm going to go to, I'm going to put these together for this one. This is an internal rotation for your shoulder. So again, we want to make sure we have that elbow really nice and tight into your rib cage. And we're going to make our arm kind of bent out like an L. And we're going to bring that arm in and rotate it out slowly. It's really important that you stand up tall while you do this. And that you just take your time. This is supposed to strengthen your shoulders. We don't want to wreck them. So internal rotation, you're bringing it to your center line. The next version of this is called an external rotation. I want to move a little closer to my pole here. Maybe even shimmy this down a little bit. So again, elbow nice and tight to my ribs. And I'm going to externally rotate. So my arm is going out. Again, take your time with these. All right. Another one we can do is put our hands right here by our shoulders. We can do a chest press. So I like my feet shoulder width apart still. And press and bring it back. Now we've got some actual moves that look like swimming. Uh, we're gonna do an underwater freestyle recovery. We're gonna do an underwater butterfly or butterfly pull, and then an underwater um, like breaststroke pull. So I guess the first freestyle one should have not been recovery. It's always important to remember we're only doing the underwater part. When we were come back over, it should never go over the top. It should always just come back underneath. This protects your shoulders. So the first one is freestyle. We're going to find our even cords again, feet shoulder width apart. And you're going to lean forward and you're just going to pull those arms down like you're swimming freestyle. Remember, it's just the underwater part. Nice, long, smooth, smooth movements. Make sure you go all the way through your hips. And then come back up where you would catch the water. Next is the butterfly. Same idea, except you pull with both arms. So bend those knees again. Pull down all the way through your hips. Bring it back up under. If you're feeling fancy, you can put your breath patterns in with it. Because remember, your head has to go down as soon as you get that breath. The next one is breaststroke. I'm going to actually move this up a little bit. My cord, that is. All right. So you're going to pull and come back forward. Pull, come back forward. Just remember, it's all the underwater part on those. And for the last couple of ones, I'm going to do a tall height. All right. So the first one I'm going to call a standing Zeus. So my arms are going to be up here near the top. And I'm going to keep 
I'm gonna, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to keep my right arm up and I'm just going to pull down with my left. Remember, these are alternating. So pull it back and back up. And then the next one, I'm actually going to kneel down. It's a lat pull. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down just to about my shoulders where my chin is. Or just above my shoulders where my chin is. Right? I know, I'm a nervous babbler. I'm okay with that. All right. So those are just some of the few moves I've got for you. I hope they were helpful. I hope they were clear. Again, I like to do um, two sets of 15 of all of them. I really miss you guys, and I'm hoping to see you guys soon. And thank you for sticking with the why.